Hello and welcome to Workflow. So in this chapter, we are going to extend on the previous lab. We're going to build the vacation workflow. Um, so our objective is to start building the vacation workflow that we have planned in the first chapter. To make sure the workflow builder is installed. Uh, you know, of course, there's a zip file available for you to download. So you can have the lab. So this is the vacation uh, request that we have built. So we want to, so our goal is to convert this into, into a, into a meaningful, uh, you know, in, basically we, how do we convert this to a workflow? So we will start with the workflow builder. We're going to do, what we're going to do is, uh, um, so let me go ahead and start the workflow builder. So I have opened the workflow builder. I'm going to go to, quick start quick wizard so here i'm going to enter the internal name the display name the internal process the display process so i have all these documented in this uh this uh document so i'm going to put the uh, workflow vacation yeah sometimes there's a limit of space so uh X, X, R, A, W, F. Okay, there's a limit on how many characters that you have. So I'm going to rename it to um, Application Workflow. So the name would be Internal name would be it. It's temporary number at 865 process display name is uh, let's go ahead and click OK so it's going to create a start and end just go ahead and click save let's save it as you can save in any name but uh you can uh, as well save it as the same as the yeah. So our next goal is to add the notification. So let's go ahead and right click. Right, actually, let's go ahead and right click on the on the vacation approval process. Click on properties. So let's go ahead and select the uh, result type as approval. Let's go ahead and click right click on notification. So let's go ahead and add the internal name, the uh, display name, and the description. So let's go ahead and um, add the details, internal name, display name. So let's go ahead and select it as notify. There's no function, but the result type is approval. Let's go ahead and click that. Let's go ahead and right click again, new notification. Let's go ahead and add the rejection, internal name, display name. And let's go ahead and select it as bad. And uh, let's go ahead and select the approval. Let's go ahead and do the same thing again for um, good. Approved. Application approval, FOI. Go ahead and say good. Approval. Click apply. Let's go ahead and drag this in here. So I'm going to drag it between. Go ahead and approved uh, and uh, rejected. Let's go ahead and add one more end. Let's go ahead and bring it down. Bring it down. Let's right click. This is very important. Right click. I'm sorry. Right click and drag. So now it's vacation proposal. So let's go ahead and right click and drag and uh, select approve here. So right click and drag. Select approve here. Right click and drag, select approve here. Right click and drag, select actually reject here. So let's go ahead and change it, results and reject. Let's go ahead and double click, go to node, change it to end and the approve, apply. Same thing here, node, end. So make sure you select reject, apply. Let's go ahead and, you know, we can beautify this. So let's go ahead and do whatever we can do to beautify it. So let's go ahead and do that. 
again right click and click straighten uh, didn't work so we have so pretty much we built the basic workflow let's go ahead and save you may see these errors but these errors are okay to have at this point let's go ahead and save so in the next chapter we would we would resolve those errors if you look at the errors um, if you look at the errors it's primarily saying that the message is in, in message is missing um, we will add those uh, you know those attributes later on and uh, we will expand on it um, so that so this concludes this chapter in the next chapter we would keep on adding to this uh, this lab I'll look forward to seeing you thank you